on this week's two minute tip we're talking monoecious versus gynoecious cucumbers Behind me here, I've got about a 40 foot row of these stonewall cucumbers, which is a super productive slicer variety, mainly because it is gynoecious. Now let's talk a little bit about what that means. Now your standard cucumber varieties, your open pollinated ones like your market moor or your national pickling, are what we call monoecious varieties. That means they produce male and female flowers. And they usually make about 10 to 20 times more male flowers than they do female flowers. But with these gynoecious varieties like the stonewall right here, they produce only female flowers. So we get a lot more cucumbers. If we break down the word gynoecious, the prefix gyno means female and the suffix ecious refers to sex organs. So we get all female sex organs or all female flowers. So the female flower on a cucumber looks like this. It looks like a little tiny cucumber at the base of this flower here. And that's the female reproductive organ there, the ovary that's gonna get pollinated and hopefully become a cucumber. The male flower looks just like this right here. You don't see any ovary or little tiny cucumber at the base of the plant. It just looks like a flower. And this is where our pollen's gonna come from to pollinate that female flower. Now you may be asking yourself, well, if these gynoecious varieties produce only female flowers, then how are they ever pollinated if there's not any male flowers around? And the answer to that is pretty simple. So when you buy a pack of gynoecious cucumber seeds, about one in every 10 seeds is an open pollinated variety that's gonna provide those male flowers that all those other female flowers need for pollination. The pollinizer is going to be very similar in appearance to the gynoecious variety you're planting. So for instance, with these stone walls, the pollinizer is probably something like a market moor. So instead of having just loads and loads of male flowers on this row like we would with a monoecious variety, with the gynoecious cucumbers, we get almost all female flowers and just a few male flowers that we need for pollination. And that's going to result in earlier production and much heavier production. You're going to get a lot higher yields from these gynoecious varieties as opposed to the monoecious varieties. So if you want maximum cucumber production, you need to be growing these gynoecious varieties. I'll put some links below to these gynoecious cucumber seeds. You can check those out. I hope you enjoyed this week's two minute tip. We'll see you next week.